given that the probability of a and b is 0.45 and y respectively if it is further given that the probability of a or b is 0.74 let's determine the value of y if a and b are mutually exclusive so what does it mean when two events are mutually exclusive it simply means that they cannot occur at the same time so the probability of a and b is zero that leaves us with the probability of a or b being equals to the probability of a plus b in our case the probability of a or b is 0 0.74 the probability of a is 0 0.45 and the probability of b is y if we say 0 0.74 minus 0 0.45 we shall get the value of y y is equals to 0 0.29 let's move to 12.2 a certain organization decided to distribute gift bags of sweets to a grade art class at a certain school there's a mystery gift in exactly one out of four of the total number of bags each learner in the class may randomly select two gift bags of sweets one after the other the probability that a learner selects two bags of sweets with the mystery gift is seven divided by 118 calculate the number of gifts of sweets with the mystery gift inside so when it comes to selections it is always better to go with the tree diagram let's make sense of our situation first if you have a total of four bags you're gonna have one base three gift and you're gonna have three sweets this is our simplified ratio let's go ahead and have our tree diagram so on the first selection you can either get the mystery box or you get the sweets but we are only interested in getting the mystery boxes in the first two selections the probability of getting a mystery box on your first selection is x divided by 4x where is this x coming from for every four bags you only get one mystery box we don't know how many bags we have and we don't know how many mystery boxes we have so that's why we put in a variable there and then when you make your second selection you choose a mystery box again so what will be the probability of choosing a mystery box again the symbol space is no longer 4x now it is 4x minus 1 because we have already picked one bag so we no longer have 4x bags but 4x minus 1 we don't have x mystery gifts anymore we have x minus one because we have already selected one when we go up the tree body diagram we multiply and when we go down we add so the probability of getting two mystery gifts on your first two picks will be equal to x divided by 4x multiplied by x minus one divided by 4x minus 1 but we are given that probability it is said to be equals to 7 divided by 118 so this is equals to to solve this we need to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together if we do that we're gonna get x squared minus x divided by 16x squared minus 4x we can go ahead and cross multiply we're gonna get 102x squared minus 28x being equals to 108x squared minus 108x if we take 102x squared to the right hand side we're gonna get 108 minus 112 which is just 6x squared if we take minus 28x to the right hand side we're gonna get minus 90x uh, let's just write this nicely 6x squared minus 90x is equals to 0 so we can take x as a common factor if we do that we're gonna have x and then multiplied by 6x minus 90 being equals to 0 x cannot be equals to 0 obviously so x will be equals to 90 divided by 6 which is equals to 15.
This is the number of gift bags of sweets with a mystery gift inside.